Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Hamster Hill. This one's going to be on Rotopo tools and um, how to use them and what they are. Um, so we'll just delete our default cube, press space, add mesh monkey. And um, then we're going to go to front view and we're going to press space, add mesh plane. And that's just an ordinary plane like normal. And um, we're just going to scale it down. Say so move it across like this, just so it's covering a nice area of our monkey. Uh, then press W and subdivide it a few times, so we have lots of vertices. Um, then we will go down here to our editing buttons, and um, you have to make sure you're still in edit mode. And um, click Rotopo, and that will turn the Rotopo tools on. And that means that um, whenever you move a vertice, um, it jumps from whatever viewing angle you are, sort of jumps to the closest object. Um, so to the face of the closest object. So now you can see we have our plane and um, the vertice we just moved has moved up to um, that face of Susanna. So um, so it will only move it from whatever direction you're looking from. And um, so if we want to instantly move all of these we can um, click Rotopo all and that'll just jump them all to the closest face according to what angle we were looking at it at. So if we press Control Z and undo that and do it say from this angle here and click Rotopo all, um, it'll do something completely different simply by what angle we were looking at. Um, so we'll do it again over the eyes like so and um, as you can see it's we just hide our monkey as you can see, the it has um, taken an impression, pretty much, of what the monkey looks like. Um, so this tool could be handy for something that's like casting things, for example. Um, you can use it also to create new topography, which is, I think, what it was designed for. Um, so if you delete that object and um, add a new plane, what we can do... Um, is we can use this tool to move uh, to basically model our object again but with different vertices placements so say if you modeled something but it has way too many vertices or it has um, vertices that are really sort of ugly kind of placing and all that kind of stuff and um, you have a lot of triangles and all that kind of stuff that's that's not good practice as a, um, a modeler and they're not very good when it comes to animation because they deform funny as well so uh, you want to, to remodel it over top you can use this tool to to just move these vertices and um, place them where you think they should be and you can um, extrude like you normally can and create edge loops and all that kind of stuff and and create a, a better looking topography with the same basic shape of your object. Um, the only problem is with this tool is that um, the because the vertices are perfectly on the faces of our object that means that the um, the faces between those vertices are behind the um, other faces as you can see because so you can't see it in object mode very well because they're sort of all behind, but um, when you delete your old mesh, you'll end up with a, a new mesh entity that has the same shape. Um, another cool feature of this is you can use these paint tools, and which allow you to paint on topography. Um, topography, if I hadn't mentioned before, is the edge loops, the um, and edge rings that sort of create your mesh, the the, the flow of the mesh. Um, good topography is when you have nice rings around things that are going to deform and um, sort of everything seems to, to flow seamlessly and um, that's sort of a, a skill you develop, develop over time um, but yeah so say if we wanted to create a toupee for Susanna what we can do is we can use this paint tool and we can simply draw on the mesh like this and um, I don't know why it always creates that line at the start but it always does it it's rather annoying um, but you just paint on like this the lines where you want them to be for um, your new mesh and so we'll just paint on some lines like this and um, then 
you hatch them across the other direction as well and um, this will create new faces and new vertices um, and it, it's sort of it's a handy tool for um, a few cases where you want to use it so we've created sort of like a cage over her head and as you can see they're all deformed to the shape of our monkey and um, what we can do now is we can just press enter and that will complete the process and now we have I'll make sure you do it from a good angle so press enter and um, it'll create new topography and um, create all those lines and stuff that, that you drew in at, at the, the points where those two lines crossed so yeah so um, that's another little tool I don't use that one often because um, unfortunately it, it doesn't turn up good results most of the time it, it just ends up being a waste of your time but but it is fun to play around with and you can draw silly things onto things and um, so yeah so that's about it for Retobo tools I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, learned a bit about it and uh, feel free to play around at your leisure um, don't forget to rate and subscribe to my videos so you can see when the next ones come out and I will catch you later